Hello beautiful Pisces and welcome back to your last day of readings for the week. So let's see here. What are we looking at? We're looking at your hopes and fears and the outcome. I love the outcome because that's the last card of the reading and it's also the last card of the major arcana which is the world. So it gives you a sense of completion and ending. Um, okay, whoop, there it is, you know, type of thing. So it's it's fun. Um, in that sensation, of, it's nice to know that you're reaching a certain understanding. I feel that it's an understanding or um, I, I, won't, I don't want to call it a ha moment. I want to call it more like um, like it is you're going to get to a, a, um, a shift ending. You know, like you're... Um, it's, it's finally integrating. It's a wholeness, feeling whole within yourself. I think that's how it's going to come in and um, how I felt it. It's, you're going to learn how to, your hopes and fears, it's coming, um, you're going to have to give and take where pure logic comes into play. So you're going to have to integrate different parts of you to make sense of things. Like I said, I was talking at the beginning of the week, the clarity comes maybe from a feeling, not an actual clear picture, but more of a clear feeling of where you want to be. And it really does come in for that. 2024 is to be focusing on not only the task at hand or something that you want, but also how that makes you feel, okay? Um, it's going to be the clear indication of whether or not you're going in the right direction. Am I going in the right direction? How do I feel about this? Um, everything's going to be very intentional. You're going to be working on your um, your courage. Your It's not courage. It's more like self-assurance, right? How you're going to find balance. It, it, it's the year of eight that's coming in. So it's about finding balance between a wild part of you and the logical part of you. Logic and impulses. It's that balance that I feel here. Okay? Because you have logic and up here you have that the chaos, right? Um, the wild part. And I think by doing that, it's going to bring a real sense of understanding things. Okay? The fool. The fool comes in. So after the world is the fool, or before the world is the fool, I, I don't know, there's, they never know which one, how it goes here. They don't know if, if this should be the 22nd card or the first card. When I do laugh path number, this is the 22nd card. Um, it's like the chicken and the egg story, yeah, that's what they're saying, it's like the chicken and the egg. Which one comes first? Who knows? But you're here, okay? You're in between these two. Things are happening. Mm. And there's the tower again. Look at that. La Maison Dieu. How interesting. So look at that. The one thing about this beautiful card, though, is the, the punch of color that comes in, okay? So, I like the way it comes out beside him. So, usually, the fool is like, you know, falling off of something, and then you have people falling off of something. So, what is it going to be this year? Or this upcoming year? Are you going to, you know take that chance, go in and, you know, leap into the unknown and hope that's not how you end up, okay? I feel that's the hope and fear here that's, that's, that's coming in. What am I jumping into? Am I jumping into nothing? Is it gonna, is it gonna become clear at some point? I guess there's sometimes there's just no right answer to this one, right? I do feel, though, that anything in life that is presented beyond the very terrible stuff that kind of takes your breath away, um, and I'm talking about, you know, those moments. We all have had those moments where 
um, loss is, is, you know, is, is crippling. Um, it could be end of relationship, end of life, all of this, all of these things. Um, but for everyday things, taking chances, when you're doing stuff, you sometimes don't know if you're just walking aimlessly off a cliff or you actually know what you're doing. And I think there's going to be a lot of trust. You're going to have to trust yourself to know that even though this kind of lightning strike clarity may not be the way to everything, it might not give you a very clear picture of exactly what's coming in. The one part of you that you can be completely sure of is your connection to spirit, your connection to life, your connection to your intuition, okay? You're not somebody who is walking around aimlessly. You have it within you to find answers. You do, at all things, in all things. You can sit and ponder. Just don't let the rational mind talk you out of everything that they can't see, touch, or smell. Because sometimes you can feel things. And that's very real too. What do they call that? The sixth sense? Yeah, the sixth sense. So, take it slow. Lean heavily on your knowing. Lean heavily on how you feel. I would say, I feel like this is the year of feeling. This is your, and I'm not talking getting into your feels of, you know, like, um, you know, always being over emotional. That isn't what I'm talking about here. I'm talking about that that feeling inside that you get when you're doing anything, you know? When I'm doing this reading right now, I feel that the words, this is a feeling, right? That the words are sometimes failing me to give you the appropriate definition, but I also know from them that that's exactly how some of this upcoming year is going to feel like. You're going to want to focus, and they want you to focus. But sometimes the things that you're focusing on won't have a material form. They won't be able to be read in cards. It's going to come from within your energy center. And this is what this card represents. So they're saying if you're afraid and of jumping off, go slow. Take your time. See the progress. Okay, It doesn't matter how fast or how slow you go, as long as you go. That is, that is the thing, as long as you take the steps forward. Some of you have been on this journey for a long time. And some of us, you're, you're going to, some of us, oh, I guess I'm included in that, are going to be starting new journeys um, that mean we're going to be going um, forward. And sometimes... They're showing me it's like you're going to have to feel your way in the dark. But you'll always have a light guiding you, a, um, a sense of, of knowing, you know, you'll always be moving towards that light, even though you may not see what's in front of you. Will there be tripping hazards? Oh, most likely, sometimes, yeah. Yeah, I see them. I don't feel like they're awful, though. I feel that it's something that might um, put you a little off kilter. I'm feeling myself like in French, bousculer. In other words, I feel like I'm teetering uh, sometimes, but I get my balance back and I keep going. I keep focusing on the light that I'm walking towards. Does the room feel scary? No, there's some. There's a. There's a kind of of um, embrace in the darkness, and that's not. Um, that's not saying it. You know embrace the dark. I'm just, I just feel that it's not, it doesn't feel like an unsafe space. It feels like a familiar space. Um, but it's only a hallway. It's only um, um, a pathway to where you need to go. Okay. Six of Cups. Right. Yeah. A familiar place. See? They're coming. Memories. So, it's somewhere you've been before. It would be like walking through your living room in the dark, right? You know what your living room kind of, sort of looks like. So, but you're not going to stay there. Okay, that's a past. That's the Six of Cups. 
The only thing that you should pull from your past is the wisdom you've learned and the childlike joy that you felt, okay? Because these are beautiful energies that uplift you, okay? They, they make you rise above. So those are like uh, precious things, right? These are the precious things from the past that you bring with you. The knowledge, the lessons, and the childlike joy, okay? The pain was felt to bring you wisdom, and that, um, I would say, should be left behind. For some of us, it takes us longer to work through it, okay? We'll always be healing from that. But for the most part, that's the things we should be bringing forward. So that, yeah almost feel like you're leaving the house, the living room in that house. You're going through to somewhere else. And it's a very beautiful place that you've been. It was, it's been a very safe place that you've been. It's been a very comfortable space. But you're ready for more. Okay? You're ready for more. Uh -huh. The Eight of Swords, right. Right. So this feels like a little bit of a restriction, but not not a humongous one, okay? It feels more like... Um, we had the devil yesterday, and that's what I'm feeling. I'm feeling that you're moving past that, okay? Sometimes moving through that living room feels a little bit like this, like you're... Oh, I don't know if I'm going to make it. I'm going to cut my toes here. But there is a path. You know, they were talking about narrow pathways there, uh, this week. This is it. Okay, there's still a pathway. So that's what you have to remind yourself. You are moving past those restrictions. Because there's something much better waiting for you. Um, on that other, in that other place. In that other space. And don't um, underestimate the fact that you can move these as you go. They're pointing down. You can pick up the hilt and move them aside. Just like you would do if you're walking in the dark. If there's something in your way, you'll pick it up. Oh, look at this. It's going to make me cry, you guys. Because that's what I feel like they're saying. Okay? Great adventure. Take the risk. Venture forward. Go ahead. Move forward in your life. Okay? Don't scare yourself into stopping. You know the space that you're moving in or past. You've been there before. Maybe you've gotten to the door. And you were afraid of that door, and you kind of went back into the house or the living room. But I, I feel it within myself that you're done. You're done. Staying in that old energy is causing you pain. It's causing you um, complications, okay? Oh. I'm going to try very hard not to get really emotional, but... This, um, how this card is reading on paper as well, is bringing up something that changed my life years and years ago. And, yeah, okay. At the end of your life, you are more likely to regret the things you didn't do than the things you did do. Take risks. Not every risk enables success, but if you don't try, you'll never know what remarkable experiences were available to you. By stepping out of your comfort zone, you'll discover new talents and abilities. Playing safe in the long run is no safer than venturing forth with glee. There is light when you reach that changed door. You're going to step into the sun. There's going to be clarity there for you. It's not like you're going to be walking in the dark through all of this. Okay? Just like the Six of Swords, you're making your way towards the light out of the dark. Okay? To quote Helen Keller, life is either a daring adventure or nothing. Wow. Hoist your sails. Catch the trade winds of adventure and enter the open seas. Explore its new ports of call. It's easy to stay safe in the harbor. 
but that's not where the juice of life is. When you sail the open seas without knowing what the day will bring, life force energy is activated within you. There are no guarantees where you take a risk. Be willing to go out on a limb. <laughs> that's where the best fruit is. When you push yourself beyond your personal boundaries, life is so much more fulfilling. So it's not promising a path of no um, of no obstacles. Okay, obviously, with the tower, this could be because it's the hope and fears. This is your worst case scenario. This is what you're thinking. You know, I will step off the cliff and I will fall down to my death to inherit failure where everything will crash and burn and I will be gone. Not everything is that dramatic in life. Yes, there are moments that kind of take your breath away. But there are many places where people have taken chances and succeeded. And there are many places where people have taken chances and not succeed, not succeeded only to try again and then succeed. So which one do you want to be? Do you want to be in limbo all of your life? Or do you actually want to take a chance? Now, I can't make that decision for you, Pisces. But Spirit says that it's worth taking a look at. It's worth looking at life. And seeing if there's just a little bit, bitty part of you willing to put your toe forward, even though it means you might stub it. Um to see if you can catch some light, a break, some distance. Four of Pentacles. Controlling. Trying to control the wheel of fortune and the cycles within it. This is all about your hopes and fears, Pisces. This is absolutely all about your hopes and fears. If I hold it in a different way, in a different pattern, then I will have control over everything. Only holding two, but you have four to hold on to. So there's a chance you're going to lose these two. But if you hold these two, then there's a chance you're going to lose these two. Let me tell you a little secret. There's a chance you're going to lose some, all, or none. I know, it's not really what anybody wants to hear. But it's the truth. And you have the Wheel of Fortune here, showing the shift, and the change, and the movement that is coming. The operative word is movement. When you try to hold a pattern, instead of letting it turn, you become stuck in a box. Okay? The wheel is a circle. It turns round and round and round. Don't put yourself in a box. I'm here rolling stone gathers no moss, but honestly, it's not about that, Pisces, right? We want to gather moss. We just don't want to be completely still. Still, you become stuck. Things start to grow around you. You start to um, kind of sink into the ground. Things start anchoring and holding on to you. And the really sad part of it all is that the whole Everything grows around you. In other words, it's changing. It's moving. But this big square that is stuck in the ground is not. But everything is moving around you. So, maybe it is time to shake things up, right? Maybe it's time to take a chance. I'm just saying. <laughs> okay, so let's pick from this deck next.
tomorrow on the channel I will be doing mm, mm, the full moon in Cancer that is going to be on the 26th or Boxing Day if you're celebrating and also the weekly for the 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 reading for what I'm going to do for the last week of December and the last week of the year. I'm not sure, but I'm feeling like it's going to be a countdown of sorts. Two of Canes. And the night of good cheer. <laughs> You're trying to protect yourself from this night of hearts, by the way. Okay? The night of hearts, the way I read it, the way I always read it, is he's he scares me, to tell you the truth. He's he's probably the guy I most wanted when I was a kid. You know, Casanova, that romantic, over the top, love bombing dude, okay? Um, never getting past the end of the book. In other words, it's the happy ever, they lived happily ever after and you never get to see the next day. The thing about this night is I know that he's one day all there and the next day all gone. And to me that has always signaled a card of high emotions, right? The ups and down, the ebb and flow, the extremes, because he's a knight. He's you know, raging forward or stopping. And what I feel here is that that's the kind of emotion you're afraid of. You're afraid of that if I reach for the change, if I go for that thing, then I'm putting myself out there and putting my emotions, my heart out there, leaving myself vulnerable to feel this way. Okay? So this is what you're doing. Nope, I don't want to do that. I don't want to do that. Okay, so you intentionally blind yourself in a dark room that you're trying to traverse to, saying it's way too dangerous. If I fall, I'm going to hurt myself. And that's what I feel here. I feel like you're saying, I'm going to hurt myself. I'm afraid of hurting myself. And a lot of that is logic. Okay, the Queen of Swords, she's brilliant. She's experienced. She, she knows about these things. And so do you. You've been through some of these things. You've tried things and scared yourself uh, enough times to know that things can go drastically wrong, right? In relationships and business and anything. So, you're desperately trying to get control over a situation. Know the ups and downs before the ups and downs show up. But it doesn't mean you'll ever be able to control that. There's there's so little sometimes I find. Um, we think we have control over. Control is an illusion, first of all. Um, well, I mean, control of situations or what might happen or what could be. Um, the only thing that you truly, truly have any control over is this moment right now. What you're doing right now? What are you doing right now? You're listening to me. You're letting inside come in. How's that making you feel? There you go. You have total control of that. Okay? You can let people take your power away. You can let people give you power. And still, or feel, their advice can instill, and, and you can feel that power within you. Love doesn't have to mean near. Some are better loved at a distance, for a while anyway, and that's okay. Besides, love doesn't really know the difference. Telio, the universe, right? So if I'm feeling that if, they're t if you're talking about love here, because I'm getting an impression of this here, if you're talking about love, Pisces, they're saying that there's many different ways to love people. There's not just one set way to love. And love means 
so many different things. I have love for all of you for being here every day. Okay, that's one sort of love. I have love for my children. That's another sort of love. I have love for my husband. That's a deeply profound sense of love. There's a different kinds of caring. I, 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 it's love and caring. And you can send it out to people. They can be right beside you. Okay? So, if you need to take your time in fear of feeling this kind of love right here, okay? It doesn't have to start or begin with all in, okay? Knight of Cups, who you're afraid is going to break your heart. You can start out slow. The word is change. The word is moving forward. Stepping little toe to little toe in that dark living room that you are familiar with towards that light in the corner. What is that? What is it going to bring me? Okay? It can be a voyage. It can be a journey. It's all about the journey. Right? Will it turn into something more? Maybe. But if it doesn't, will it deter you from trying again? I hope not. Okay? It doesn't get any more beautiful, any more magical, any richer, any easier than things are right now. Again, we're talking about right now. We we're just talking about it. Until, of course, you start expecting it to get more beautiful, magical, richer, and easier. At which point, I hope you really have a good broker <laughs> who loves you, the universe. Okay? So they're saying it's good to plan for the future. But focus on your footfalls right now. Where are you going? Okay? Can you see the obstacles that are coming in? Um, are you stepping on things? Okay? Pay attention to that. Don't be thinking of, you know, what's at that light or at that place where you're going to be moving into. You've got to concentrate on where you are right now. Right? And if you concentrate on right now, you can make that journey a lot easier, a lot faster. Right? And you can make that you can make that that journey as well more interesting in that way. Why I say more interesting? It, like they were talking beautiful, magical, richer, and easier. Um, <clears throat> then you can help people reach their own destination by telling them, concentrate on what's in front of you. Where are you right now? Okay? Don't worry about that over there. Yeah, you, you, you give it a heads up, look at it once in a while, make sure you're still going in that direction. But you got to pay attention to what's around you. Okay? Maybe there's like shadows and lights and windows and you can see stuff that you really like about this room. Instead of hating it or dreading going in the dark, maybe that, you know, you feel that sense of comfort and happiness, knowing that you've created a very comfortable place for you. A cozy spot to travel, to traverse to. Okay? We've been cleaning this dark room for a long time. Okay? It should be cleaned out anyway. And if it's not, and, you know... You're hitting debris and stuff. Uh, maybe it's a last minute chance to clean that up as you go. Yeah, I can't, you guys. Okay. Luck, progress, and change. This is all about this. This is all about going. It's, you've been working at this, this year, and many years before. For myself, I would say many, many years. I could go back far, probably. I could probably go back right to the beginning if I really tried. But for the nitty-gritty stuff, I think the last couple of years, last two, three years, has really been 
where the speed has been apparent to me. Everything is connected. Everything will always be connected. You'll always be going into the next cycle, the next thing. I really want you to reach that door in 2024 and early on in the year, not not late. I want you to progress. I don't feel that this living room is very long anyway. I feel like you're a, a quarter or halfway through that room anyway. So, and it's not going to take that long for you to get to the door. I feel that you've passed the obstacles in the room. Because if you look at a door, we usually leave that space clear to the door. Because that's where the traffic is usually. So I feel that you've passed, you know, if you, you go into a living room, there's a part of the living room that has all the, you know, the sitting and the stuff. and But then as you're going out of that room, the space becomes clearer, right? Because you're going into something else. So I feel that you've already passed, like, most of the obstacles. You're, you know, you've passed the, the couch, the coffee table. Maybe there's a little chair now that you're trying to maneuver past. But you're going into that space where that that you're going to be walking freely, still steadily, still cautiously, but, you know, going towards that. You can see it. You're not afraid of it. I feel more caution than anything else, Pisces. Yeah. I love this. This is, this is feeling like you're not alone. Okay? This is planning, partnering, progress, the two of fire. It's having the world at your hand. You're at the beginning. I, I, I so feel it. I so feel it right now. Um, I feel as as you're walking, you're contemplating. Okay? This is about the potential, the threshold. You're, you're walking towards that threshold of light. Um, you're committed to this new direction. Okay. It's time to lay that the lay of the land in preparation. The world is at your command, and the world card is here. Okay. The world, the wheel, that circle of life. Look at that. Feathers, white feathers, especially, is guidance as well from your loved one, your past loved ones. I feel like they're saying, don't forget that you also have them as well. Not just guides. Some guides are people that have gone. You can call them whatever you like. Past loved one, guides, I don't care. I feel they're all working on one goal. It's to help you. Every time somebody I love passes to the other side, I feel their presence in a different way, but I feel their presence. It doesn't mean that I don't miss them physically. I absolutely do. There's not a day that doesn't go by that sometimes I think to myself, Lord, I wish you were actually here. That you could have your physical presence again. But I do feel them in a very different and more spiritual way. And that's a blessing and a gift because I don't think most of my life I could feel, I could feel something, but not as quite as clear as I do now. Don't forget that these loved ones that have left you in the last couple of years, especially the last five, I can feel here. Um, you know, they're your team on the other side. They were part of your group. They came here with you. And even if they leave, they're still part of your group, okay? is my true belief that that is a truth. And that, um, yeah. Yeah. Knight of Wands. They're here to help you overcome wands and wands. 
they're they're here to help you, you know, um, with the light that you're inspiring, that the beat of your own drum. Like I love this one so much. It feels like whatever comes, I feel that you're ready for it. Remember, eight is the card of strength. Also, Leo, another fire energy. Um, I said we were going to turn into fire, maybe more so, even more so in 2024. Um, I feel that for all of us. Another couple of cards by season we're wrapping up this week, and I do believe this year as well. Beautiful. Lovers. Came out yesterday, coming out again today. A choice. Deciding from the heart what you want in your life. And I think that is exactly what it feels. It's choosing what balances, what makes you feel balanced. What makes you feel balanced usually is love. If you have not not passion, not, um, <laughs> uh, not attraction, it's love. Okay? When they say that warm fuzzy, this is it. This makes me feel like a hot cup of cappuccino or something, but it's love. Okay? Same thing. You get that warmth when you hold that cup, right? It brings in the heat, and then you anticipate the taste of it, and you go, <sighs> that's what it feels like, okay? That's what you're shooting for, that, <sighs> yeah, that feels good. Excitement is wonderful. Anticipation is great. Attraction is wonderful. Um, that's all things you can use in relationship and career. These are all fun, 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 fun energy. Okay? But love, love is the one that kind of feels like a, like that. Like a cast. Like a, like a, um, they're showing me like a, a fog that kind of just, that, that's, that's exactly what it's doing. It's like a, and then it kind of goes everywhere, right? Like water. But this is the kind of love that's um, more than water. It's, it's steam or fog or whatever. It's condensation. So it's the spiritual form of love. It's, um, it's lighter. It's lighter. Hmm. Oh my God. Okay, so Thich Nhat Han, the cloud, the cloud, the cloud, he's saying. So if you haven't seen that, I would highly suggest to just type in Thich Nhat Han, the cloud, and listen to that. Um, that would be my gift to you. It's such a beautiful thing. It talks about how we are constantly changes, and I, I think it's a personal message from your loved ones, um, everybody who's, who's gone. Um... It help you see life through a different lens as well if you haven't seen it. And if you have seen it, go and rewatch it again. I'm going to. I'm going to. When I found it, I was in such awe of the simplicity but beauty of the message. So please um, yeah, go watch that, okay? If I think about it on the day, I will post it for you guys to watch on um, the Facebook group. If you're not part of the Facebook, Facebook group, please... Um, um, Go ahead and, um, yeah, I'm going to do this right after this. I'm going to find that and I'm going to post it. I'm going to schedule it for today. <laughs> Astral travels. I love this. I feel like it's, this is, you know, like I was talking about the spirit and the fog and the, it's, it's all of this. It's like, um, possible, possible impossibility, freedom, traveler, and inner dreams. So let's finish this off with this one. So beautiful. So it is number 10. Okay. And it is air, okay? There is a time for great work and a time for deep rest. While your spirit mind may be saying one thing, you are ultimately governed by the laws of your body's capacity. Please be careful not to burn the candle at both ends. Get back into your body and remember how good it feels to nourish it. Okay, You are called to break out of the box and look beyond the limits of what you can see. 
clarity is needed and freedom, even just for a little while, holds the answer to an important truth to learn. Maybe the way isn't around, but through, Pisces, but through, through the dark room, through the unseen, through the love of spirit, through the ever change of life, through the transitions we face. I can't think of a better message or a better way to end this week's readings. Now, as you know, I said I would be doing something a little different for the week. I guess it's coming in tomorrow. <laughs> I'm going to try and do something fun for our holiday week, our last week of the year. Um, something that's spiritual, but yet um, maybe with a light heart um, before we start working really hard in 2024. And uh, I'm sending you a lot of love, light, and blessings, my beautiful Pisces. Take good care of yourself. And I will see you tomorrow, as always. Take care. Bye for now.